How to use Wix to make a portfolio website. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Wix, even if you don't have any experience, to create a simple portfolio website with your own content. Now, that portfolio website could look like this, or it could look slightly different. However, it's going to be very easy and it's going to look professional. So, if you want to build your own portfolio, keep watching and let's get started. We're going to build our portfolio with Wix. So Wix is a website builder that's very easy and beginner friendly. So what you want to do is go to the Wix website, click on get started and then create your account. Now you can do that by simply clicking on continue with Facebook, Google, Apple or click on sign up and then sign up for an account. However, I already have an account so I'm going to simply click on continue with Google. And then once you're signed in, they will send you over to the My Sites homepage. And this is where you can get going. Now, if you're new to Wix, what you can do is click Create New Site so that you can build a portfolio. What you can do first is click on Other and then click Choose a Template. I highly recommend doing that and I'll explain why right now. So if you do that, you'll end up on this page where you can find a lot of templates that you can start using. You can see that they've got over 69 pages worth of templates. What you can do is click search all templates in the top right corner and then simply type in portfolio. Once you do that, they'll show you all portfolio templates that you can simply use right away and then customize with your own photos and your own content and there you're good to go. So what you can do is simply scroll through the, uh, scroll through the pages, find a template that you like. So let's say that I would like to go with the art director portfolio. What I could then do is click on view and click view full demo to see if I would actually like this because if I don't then I can always go back. Once you've chosen a template you cannot change it later on on the same website. So I don't really like this one. Now what you can then do is simply keep scrolling until you find one that you actually like. For example, actor portfolio. This one looks great. Let me click on it and let me click on edit. So once you've found the one that you would like to go with, simply click edit and this would send you over to the Wix website editor. And that's where we're going to build our portfolio. So this is going to take a while. So I'll get back to you guys once it's, oh, there we go. Normally it takes a while. I'm not sure why not. However, I don't mind. Let's continue. So this is the Wix website builder and this is where you can build your own portfolio. So if I now scroll down, you'll see the template that we chose and what you, what you need to do now, and it's the only thing you need to do, is simply customize it with your own photos and your own information. So hey, I'm Daniel Martinez. That's probably not your name, right? So what you could do is simply click on it, click edit text, and then type in your name. So what I'm gonna do is simply type your name, but you would type in your own legit real name. So hey, I'm your name. And then right there, you can add what you do. So maybe you're not an actor or a performer or model, but you're a video editor. And you would then type in video editor. Now, if you're not sure if you would like to go with this, what you can do is click preview so that you can see if you like it or not. And what this is gonna do, it's simply gonna show you the website as of right now. Now, this doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of boring, but it does the job. Next up, we need to change the photo on here. So what you can do is simply select it, click change column background, and you can then upload your own image. So if you go to image right there, click upload media, and then upload your own image. However, what I'm gonna do is simply go to unsplash and then search for a random person because I don't wanna show my own pictures on that specific frame. So what I could do is simply choose an image, like I just said, make sure to just go with your own picture, click change background and boom, it'll then show up. Now what you can do is click right there on these settings and you can then crop and resize and adjust it. So you can play around with the colors as well, but what you could also do is simply zoom in a bit and then slide this over, click save and that should make it look way better. It should be good right now, let's see. It's gonna update and there we go. And that's how you can do that. So the first part is now done. If I scroll down even further, we can start customizing the about me section. So you would click on edit text and you would pretty much write down a brief description about yourself and about what it is that you do. 
that should be enough because beneath that you'll see the view full resume button if people click right there you'll send them over to your resume page and I'll explain how you can do that you can see it's automatically linked with a light box which is great so you don't have to change it but I'll show you how that works in a bit now right there we've got a showreel so what you could do right here is display all of your work so simply click right there click manage videos and then start uploading your own photos your own videos whatever it is that you do you would simply start uploading it right there so go to videos click add videos right there computer and then upload them that's pretty straightforward not that complicated so I'm gonna go back and then next up we've got photos exactly the same simply click on them click manage media click upload or add media and delete all of these if you want to so that's where you would add your own photos I wouldn't do personal photos on here I would just add photos that you took so your work just add your work right there make it visual so that people can get a good understanding of your skills next up we've got a very important section it's the contact section right there I would add your photo as well um, so what you can do manage and then you know the drill right there you can um, pretty much change your info click edit text add your own manager if you have one your commercial agent your SF agent whatever it is that you have add them or simply add your own contact info right so what you would do is simply type in your own um, title your own name your own email and your phone number so that people can reach you and that's literally it now you can see that that's then done now if I go back what you can then do is simply click publish but we're not done yet because I wanted to show you the full resume because we've got some other pages as well if we're on the website you can see bio video photos and contact if I scroll down I can click view full resume and this should link to a different page and there we go so what you can do here is simply add your own resume on the website pages and you'll then see everything that that person has done you can even download a resume which is very cool now the way you can do that is by simply going here to bio and you'll then see all of this so what you need to do in the website editor itself is click on menus and pages click on bio click right there and let's see if we can actually change that why is it not showing up instead of site menu you want to go to light boxes which is beneath it click on it and you'll then see all of your stuff showing up so you can see that this is then the resume that you can change for your personal info so change your birth year your height your eye colors if you want to and that, and then right there you can add your resume which is cool because then people can download it but this is where you can add your own resume um, so that when people click on that it would actually show up with your info instead of the info from the template so that's where you could customize that however that's pretty much it so you've got the photos you've got the videos that you can show and then finally you've got the contact page where people can reach out to you and that's it so what you need to do now is simply click on publish in the top right corner to go live with your website now if you want to do this for free what you can do is simply use this right there and that would then be your domain name so it'd be garybroin.wixsite.com so this would be your uh, username on Wix dot wake site slash and then your site so this works right this works so this is online as of right now you can go to this you can then preview it you can see what the website looks like and that's what you can send to clients if you want it more professional what you can do is click upgrade now and then you can purchase a branded domain so instead of having wake site and all of these wix um, subdomains branded ads on there it would be totally free of ads but you would have to pay for it and you can then use www.yourname.com for example so you could do that by upgrading I'm not gonna push you into upgrading or whatever I'm um, just trying to provide uh, value for you guys but that's how you can do it so yeah if this simple video helps you out make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you have any questions let me know I'll be happy to help you out and then I'll see you in the next video have a good day